The territory of the Republic of Azerbaijan is noted for very complex geological and climatic conditions, so it's no mere coincidence that the country is reputed to be one of the world's most complicated regions by dimensions and intensity of endogenic and exogenic factors. Practically, the whole territory of the country is unsteady from seismic risk standpoint. In considering the above mentioned, the head of the state signed a decree dated December 16, 2005 on the establishment of the Minister of Emergency Situations of the Republic of Azerbaijan. Basic directions of the activity of the Minister of Emergency Situations are as follows. Protection of the population from the emergency situations and fires. Removal of the emergency situations and their consequences. Ensuring of the safety rules at water reservoirs, building sites, industrial and mining enterprises. Establishment and proper management of the state resource fund. Organization of the protection of the strategic objects against natural, technogenic and terrorist threats. Decontamination of the radioactive waste. Efficient response to the emergency situations and organization of the humanitarian aid. Organization of the management, rescue searching and first aid, aviation and transport life-saving operations in case of emergency. Arrangement of public awareness about the measures to guard against emergency situations, methodic guidance over respective works done by the state bodies and public organizations. At present, the Minister of Emergency Situations carries out its activity through assistance of the central apparatus, structures and regional centers involved. The Minister of Emergency Situations of the Republic of Azerbaijan consists of State Fire Prevention Service, Fire Control Service, Civil Defense, Special Risk Rescue Service, Center for Crisis Situations Control, State Nuclear and Radiological Activity Regulation Agency, Isotop Spatial Center, Construction Safety Rules, Industrial Safety Rules and Mining Control Agency, Small Capacity Vessel State Inspection, State Water Life Saving Service, State Water Life Saving Service, and the Caspian Basin Accident Rescue Service. In case of emergency, an appropriate signal is applied to the Minister of Emergency Situations Hotline Call Center number 112. Appropriate information about the case is conveyed by the Hotline Call Center number 112 to the Crisis Situation Control Center. The center is responsible for mobilization of forces and means to remove the emergency situations and reduce their consequences. Effective management of the accident rescue operations, collection of information from all the Minister of Emergency Situations units on duty, appropriate bodies of the executive power and all the sources, its analysis and adoption and implementation of the appropriate decisions. The GIS system is widely used by the sender. Electronic maps provide detailed information about the major objects, arterial roads, main oil and gas pipelines, hospitals and schools, residential buildings, and other important objects on the territory of the Republic of Azerbaijan. An emergency place is identified by means of these electronic maps, so nearby forces and facilities are immediately mobilized to remedy the situation. The State Fire Prevention Service is responsible for extinguished fires on the territory of the Republic and carrying on urgent rescue operations. Its firefighting tools and technical facilities, including different type fire engines, modern equipment, fire escapes and fire extinguishers, enable firemen to promptly respond to distress signals and put out fires quickly and trustworthily. The Civil Defense Forces are responsible for prompt implementation of the civil defense measures, protection of population and territory against the technogenic type emergency situations, conduct of accident rescue operations, safety of population, its provision of its foodstuffs, water, top priorities, conduct of radiation chemical and biological prospecting in the affected zone, decontamination of the territories and other urgent measures. If the human factor is affected as a result of emergency situation, rescuers from the Spatial Risk Rescue Service shall immediately arrive on the site. Rescuers shall act quickly, conduct spatial risk searching and accident rescue operations, render necessary aid to victims, protect within their powers, enterprises, devices and other facilities of strategic importance against natural, technogenic, fire and terror threats. Note that 
Rescuers arrive on the emergency place by special cars and high-speed motorcycles. These cars and motorcycles are equipped with up-to-date technical means and cutting tools. Rescuers apply these tools for taking victims of the accident out of the deformed cars from under ruins of the collapsed buildings and others. Note that Special Rescue Dog Service is responsible for uncovering human bodies or fragments that remain under ruins of the collapsed buildings. Moreover, this service is engaged in detecting unexploded ammunition and explosives. The forces of the Minister of Emergency Situations are in position to run accident rescue operations not only on land but water as well. State Water Life Saving Service is responsible for ensuring safety of the people in water basins owned by the Republic of Azerbaijan. Each year, watchtowers are installed along the beaches in summer season, and highly qualified divers are on watch to inspect the littoral by counters. Caspian Basin Rescue Service is responsible for protection of the territories located in an appropriate sector of the Caspian Sea owned by the Republic of Azerbaijan against the natural and technogenic emergency situations and removal of their consequences. The service has great experience in carrying out accident rescue, handling underwater equipment, divers and ship salvaging operations. In order to remove oil spreading in the sea, Nestor operations are carried on. The small capacity vessel state inspection is responsible for safe navigation of small capacity vessels in the territorial sea waters, rivers, water reservoirs and other waters as set forth in the respective legislation, as well as the safe use of moorages, facilities, bridges and passages. The aviation team under the Minister of Emergency Situations is meant to join operations on prevention of fires on offshore oil and gas extracting facilities. The team disposes of BE-200 amphibian aircrafts which are widely used for extinguishing forest fires. But MI-17, 1W and MI-172 type helicopters are used not only in extinguishing fires but also in search and rescue operations, ecological monitoring, transportation of disaster victims and medical aid. The medical service under the Minister of Emergency Situations is responsible for rendering necessary aid to the population of the affected area. A mobile hospital is pitched on localities difficult to access. Composed of the reception room, a laboratory, surgery and intensive therapy departments, Medical service, with the help of medical personnel of the hospital, renders Nestor assistance to the wounded with the help of up-to-date reanimation equipment, ultrasonic checkup apparatus, medical preparations and dressing materials. It's also possible to make Nestor analysis, carry on surgical operations and others. The Industrial Safety Rules and Mining Control Agency is responsible for control over projecting, use of highly explosive materials in construction, industry and mining, operation of main oil and gas pipelines, lifting gears, boilers production, installation and overhaul of equipment used in potentially dangerous facilities, storage of industrial type explosives and pyrotechnic materials, transportation of dangerous cargo by transport facilities. The construction sector is considerably developing in the country, so there is need in preventing accidents in the sector. With that at in the view, the State Control Agency for Safety Rules in the Construction under the Minister of Emergency Situations has been set up. The agency is responsible for compliance with the project requirements during the construction operations. A special laboratory carries out an analysis of the materials quality. The agency conducts regular inspections of the buildings before putting them into operation. The State Agency for Regulation of Nuclear and Radiological Activities is a body that provides nuclear and radiological safety of the population and territories. The agency takes part in developing and performing the state policy with regard to the regulation of nuclear and radiological activities in the country and ensures the state supervision in this area. The Isotope Spatial Center is responsible for centralized collection of radioactive waste, its processing, burial and long-term storage for regulation of the works related to the putting into and out of the operation the waste based facilities. The laboratory is active here to conduct dissymmetric and radio spectrometric analysis. Foreign experts are prone to regard Isotope Spatial Center 
as unique structure in the region. Operating in various regions of the Republic, regional centers of the Minister of Emergency Situations are responsible for protection of civil defense establishments, population and territory against natural and technogenic emergency situations. Equipped with all necessary technical facilities and outfits, and operating in the northern, northwestern and southern parts of the Republic, in Iran, Mughan, Karabakh, Sumgait and Baku, regional centers are staffed with highly qualified and professional rescuers and experts who went through specialized courses and had special training. In considering the necessity of carrying on rescue operations promptly and effectively, the Minister of Emergency Situations regularly conducts special tactical exercise for rescue groups with the purpose of imparting practical skills. At present, various international documents on cooperation have been signed with respective structures of foreign states. Cited as example may be documents on the development of bilateral cooperation, joint steps in training personnel, and rendering mutual aid in emergency situations signed with the natural and technogenic emergency structures of Russian Federation, Turkey, France, Bulgaria, Ukraine, Belarus, Korea, Jordan, and other countries. At the same time, Cooperation relations are successfully developing with the United Nations and NATO structures, International Civil Defense Organization, Organization for Prohibition of the Chemical Weapons, Red Cross and Red Crescent Society, and the International Atomic Energy Agency. With the purpose of training highly qualified and raising their professional level, a group of employees of the Minister of Emergency Situations is presently attending the appropriate educational institutions of Russian Federation, Ukraine and Belarus to improve their skills. At the same time, an academy of the Minister of Emergency Situations has been set up with a view of training highly specialized personnel for the Minister of Emergency Situations and improving skills of the employees. From this year, young students will be mastering scientific and practical knowledge at the educational institutions. The forces of the Minister of Emergency Situations are capable of helping people in distress at proper moment and proper place.